auditing is an important part of business objects. It enables business objects administrators to keep their environments secure, responsive, and in short, healthy. To enable auditing via CMC, we're going to have to configure the uh, CMS server in the central configuration manager of business objects. We're going to stop the server, go into the properties, go into the configuration. We will then point the data source for auditing to either the same data source as our current CMS database or to a new data source pointing to a different database. And this is to me is a better option because we'll have separate databases. And once we are done setting up our auditing via CMC, uh, via CMS, we're going to start up the CMS and then we'll go to CMC and enable our uh, servers. And based on your environment, um, you, know, you could have multiple web servers or desk servers that may require auditing. We're going to start off with CMS and you will see and you'll see that there are um, several types of detailed uh, audit auditing options are available and the location for the log file is automatically set by business object so you don't have to manually set it we'll go on to a desk server and see some of the auditing um, features that are available here We'll go on to RAS. This is the uh, Crystal Report server, and as you can see, the default location is there. Uh, as soon as you select the boxes, appropriate boxes, and hit update, business objects automatically um, <coughs> points or creates that directory. Once auditing is enabled via CMC, you can run the existing auditor reports that come pre-installed with business objects and they use a universe called activity but we're not going to go over the activity universe at this time we are going to however create a view and a stored procedure and run them against the audit database directly and this will enable us to capture second by second activities in our entire business objects environment so stay tuned for more videos